James, Coach Everhart said he felt like one of the keys of the game was you coming in in the first half. A little bit of energy for you, kind of one of your main contributions. And it doesn't always show up, obviously, points scored, things like that. But he felt like that helped your defensive intensity ramp up for the whole team and kind of carried over to the offense a little bit. Do you feel that? Uh, I, I can, yeah, I feel that. I feel as if I could have done a lot more for my team. Though. I don't think I was nearly as active as I can be, and I know I can contribute a lot more to the team. So, But it's early in your career, though. Do you remember that, too? Uh, yeah, I try to I try to remember <laughs> that. Um, I figure I'm still so young. I've got a lot to learn, but shit, they, brought us, they brought me in to win games, and I need to do a better job of doing that. So. So what was this experience like? Obviously, you've played in front of big crowds now this year. Was this a little bit different? Did you feel the difference of postseason? Uh, I don't really feel the difference, to be honest. Um, at the end of the day, we're just trying to perform as well as we can, move on, to keep moving, keep moving. Uh, back in the UK, a lot of what we did was tournament play anyway, so I'm kind of accustomed to it. Obviously, there's a bigger crowd, there's more people watching, but I try not to think about that, just try to think about the next play. Biggest crowd you played before this year? Uh, what was the biggest product? Yeah, before this year, before coming to the U.S. Oh, probably not that big. I want to say maybe a thousand, mm -hmm. a thousand, two thousand people. Okay. Maybe. And then uh, what about in your tennis career? Playing any big crowds? Oh, no, <laughs> no, no. I <laughs> was, I was, I was, um, I was too young, so it didn't, it didn't really. Um, didn't really equate to much when I was like 10 years old, so it's, it's cool. You know, there's one sequence there in the second half. It's like you got a rebound, put up a shot, it missed, got hacked pretty well, got the ball back, we're battling again. And a Trey, it looked like, talked to you and told you to keep your head up, you know, after that. When you hear that from veteran teammates, from guys that have been through this before, is that important? Is that good reinforcement? Yeah. Let you know you're doing right? Yeah, it's, um, again, Trey's probably played basketball in college longer than I have in the, in America in a whole, so I need to listen to my veterans a little bit more, you know, mature a little bit quicker so I can help these slot win a game. So, yeah, I need to listen a little bit more, I guess. Is it, it, this environment, this postseason, what you expected? Fun? A little bit? In pretty fun. Um, everyone being in the same area, like the energy is really high, really competitive. I like being competitive. Um, we get to play two games in a row. I haven't done that in a, in a moment, but, yeah, it's pretty fun. Tomorrow we've got Kansas. Obviously, quick turnaround again. What's the number one thing this team has to do to get that win? Stay off the feet. Um, <laughs> uh, recovery. I got my normal takes. Um, stretch. Just chill out. It's just not that serious. Just chill out. <laughs> so, yeah.